Bonjour, bonsoir. Welcome to JCB Live. This is so exciting. At Wine Style, we're going to be doing today cocktails with the magical, gorgeous, irresistible Donnell. Donnell is the extension of the spirits themselves. She's the quintessential mixologist. So she's going to take one of each of the JCB spirits and show us one of the most charismatic cocktails of all time. I will tell you briefly about each of them. So the first one we're going to try is, of course, the JCB caviar. So dear friends, know that those spirits are made from wine, not even grapes, not even must. We make wine and after several months, we blend Chardonnay and Pinot Noir from the heart of Burgundy. So this is Côte d'Or in this bottle. This is like Grand Cru wine from Burgundy, distilled seven times, filtered five, and we created a very unique pattern in a sense that we infuse real caviar from the southwest of France, coming from the sturgeon, Beluga caviar infused in this vodka. So this is insanely amazing. This is the most expensive vodka to make in the world. Real wine distilled, real caviar infused. One plus one equals an explosion. So Donnell, shall we start? We shall start. So we're going to make a caviar martini. Nothing better than that. Better. I'm a fanatic of caviar, and the caviar here we're going to use is from our wonderful atelier boutique and gourmet shop, and this is from Sacramento. So it's going to be interesting because this caviar made in France, from the southwest of France, in Burgundy, and will taste a little bit of Sacramento caviar. So martinis are very, very simple. We're gonna do three ounces of the caviar vodka. Up to now I follow. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, this is gonna be a big one. Well, the three ounces, and then you're gonna do one ounce of dry vermouth. And that is it. Martinis are to be stirred, not shaken. If you shake them, it bruises the, the vodka or the gin, whatever you're using. It's all of that motion. It uh, makes the ice turn into little ice shards and then it waters down your spirits, which we don't want that. We want to taste it as pure as we can. Although Danelle is adorable when she does this. <laughs> stirred so is the gin bone way. This is actually the Agent 69. So we'll stir. Uh, it's nice to use a chilled glass, so I always fill my glass with ice beforehand. Then you just dump the ice out. Makes for a nice chilled glass. And this is, in fact, a small introduction to the future passion collection that we're making for spirits. And Look. pour. Wow. Richness, density, volume, ontuosity, transparency. This is gorgeous. And what did you make? So Ooh. I thought it would be fun to try. We'll see how this works. These are made out of ice, just a, an ice bowl, I guess you could call it. Love it. This is so We're going to gorgeous. Ooh, this is generous. Well, you're going to drink it. Oh, I'm blessed. Filled with caviar. This is and almost Jean Charles Day today. This might, make it, this might make it run over a little bit. We love it. The boat can sink. My tongue will be there to rescue it. And there you go. Wow, look at this. This is gorgeous. So that's it? That's it. Take a sip. Mmm. Mmm. Dear friends, unbelievable. So what is so great is you have the density, the richness of the caviar. You have an amazing coating on your tongue and the fatness of the caviar vodka included with the caviar is amazing. So it really coats, envelop your whole mouth. Right. Hang on one second. Mm. 
Congratulations, Anel. Amazing. Perfect. All right. So now, this is obviously recipe number one. Up her sleeve, Donnell has many. So we're going to try now the same vodka vinification of wine, distillation, Chardonnay Pinot Noir, Côte d'Or Burgundy, seven times distilled, five times filtered, and then infused with black truffle from the Southwest. So when we thought about this amazing range of spirits, we elected to take the best from the ocean, caviar, the best from the earth, the nicest, most amazing mushroom, obviously truffle. We'll tell you more about the other spirits, but that was the idea. All the elements, the best of the best. So now this is infusion of black truffle from the Périgord over 45 days, similar to the caviar technique, and it got that beautiful, phenomenal, you know, truffle inhalation, and you're gonna adore it. The ritual faction of it is fantastic too. So, so what are we gonna do? One of our sommeliers created this cocktail for us. It's called a truffle royale. So we're going to, again, fill our shaker with ice. I like the term royale. royale. It sounds always great when the king is involved. And we're gonna do one and a half ounces uh -huh. of the truffle vodka. So you're going a little less on that. A little less. She's so precise, I love it. Look well, I don't do that. it like that at home. And we're both what wearing our genus kiss, but you could see this one I cannot really fit. This is the dangler, isn't it great? I love that one. Ooh. So this is another type of vermouth called Dolan Blanc. You're gonna do one ounce of the Dolan Blanc. Mm. Very and nice. I'm using uh, Raymond's Eloquence. Great idea. Yeah, we're gonna do a half an ounce of the Eloquence. So Eloquence is the only dessert wine we actually make at Raymond Vineyards. And this is unbelievable. And Stephanie Patwin creates magic, hence the name Eloquence. So we're gonna stir this. I love the fact that we never shake those fantastic cocktails. Who needs to shake when you can gently stir? Aha. Uh -huh. Ooh, how cute. Isn't that great? A little travel size. Couture. This is like a handbag. Right. I love it. You could go to the park, you could go to the beach. Everything is reopening now, so you're safe. So you're gonna open one of those and you're gonna top it with a splash. Haute Couture Blanc. This is really cool because this is a blend of white wine from France that we make in our wonderful Burgundy facility. A little more? No, that's it. I follow the nails direction. Some time. And some time or some time? Some time. Because I always follow the nails direction. Whoops. And a lemon twist. So and that's gorgeous. the truffle royale. Can I taste? Absolutely. Mmm. Mmm. Same thing, a lot of richness, a lot of density, and amazing different tones. The truffle is enhancing the flavor with the thyme and the lemon and, and the vermouth. I think it's spectacular. Wow. I cannot wait to impress with this one. Nice. So now we have created as well the vodka, same distillation of wine, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, Burgundy, seven times distilled, five times filtered. And we said we got to do one pure called the classic in many ways. That is the one, your benchmark. If you don't want to go crazy with caviar and of course truffle, you go as simple as this, which is not as simple as you think. So Donnell, what are we going to make now? So this is going to be the JCB Cooler, another, a different song created this recipe and we had actually a fun party if you remember, and they all made different cocktails, and this was the one that we chose. And we love it because it was with the Somme Selection Wine at Raymond Vineyard. So we have 12 sommeliers, the best, and some of you are listening today, coming from all over the United States, and we focus on wine, but so many of you are great mixologists that we decided to do a little competition. And it was a great success, and 
The Royale comes from it as well as this one. So we love them so much. Now we're using them. Right. So we're going to start with an empty shaker this time because we're going to muddle some things together. We're going to do two balls of cantaloupe. Aha. Uh -huh. And so this is Cavaillon cantaloupe. This is very exciting because this is really the best cantaloupe on the planet that comes from the Rhone Valley. Very sweet. And I know many of you love fine wines, love the Rhone Valley as you go south in the area of Orange, where Louis Bernard or Bonpa are located. You have all those melon planted, which is an old seed from the 13th century. And this is quite amazing as a taste. In fact, if it's okay, then now. It is. Oh. I put in two slices of cucumber. We're gonna do five sprigs of mint, fresh from the garden here. Smells so good. Mmm. Doesn't that smell? The aroma wonderful? is amazing. I love it. And the whole idea with those cocktails is to be very respectful of the spirit itself. Mm -hmm. You know, Donnell can make all the cocktails you can imagine and dream about, but the key is to be very true to the original recipe and to make sure that the two together equals five, six, or 10, rather than one dominates. So right. that's the whole idea about this unbelievable recipe. Right. And then we're going to add some fresh ginger. Ooh. Maybe four slices is good. Gotta be careful, ginger is an aphrodisiac, Danelle. You've put four pieces. It is? I didn't know that. Simple syrup, we're gonna do... I didn't. She did it on purpose. <laughs> One ounce. One ounce of, of syrup. Simple syrup. Simple syrup, which you can make. Correct. It's equal parts of water and sugar. Uh, you cook it on medium heat until it's until the sugar is dissolved, and then it cools, and then you have simple syrup. I've done some, in fact, for all of you to know this weekend because I was running out of simple syrup and. You told me the recipe last week and I said, why should I buy simple syrup? Well, there's no reason to. And it's actually much better when you choose your sugar, you know exactly what goes in. Absolutely. So, so then I'm gonna squeeze. You're gonna squeeze? Squeeze. You're gonna squeeze? A whole lemon, Ooh. so four halves. Keep squeezing, Danelle, I feel it. <laughs> you need the touch to squeeze without putting the pits in it. That's the key. Those are amazing lemon. For all of you who've been to Raymond Vineyards, we have several trees. This is Meyer's lemon. And I think it's very important to pick the right lemon as all the ingredients are essential. You wanna be really true to your vision of mixology and cocktail making. Right. So everything here is organic. So then you take your muddler and you just muddle away. And she's doing so. Oh, great sound. Mix it all. So you're making kind of a little soup of all that. Mm -hmm. Infusing all of the flavors together with the lemon juice, the simple syrup, the melon, the mint, the ginger. The aromatic is incredible. Mm -hmm. Love the ginger. It adds that oh, right. beautiful That's acidity to it. You know, I personally don't like as much sugar as I do like to feel the ingredients in any cocktail, so that's gonna be right. a great one for that. Okay. You have it. We have it. Are we gonna stir again? Or are we well, gonna we're shake? gonna add ice. Uh-huh. I love how Donnell is so well organized. Donnell, we, we should do a lot more cocktails together. This we is should. so much fun. We're okay. going to add two ounces of the pure vodka. Wow. You're very generous in general huh? with your intake of vodka. Well, you know, if you make the drink too strong, then it doesn't taste great, right? Or too weak. Or too weak, it doesn't taste great. So there, everything's measured, measured out. And give it a little stir. So we're stirring again? I'm stirring again. Okay. Wonderful. And I think I'll use one of the passion flutes for this. For sure. Here it is. I know it's going to look again miraculously beautiful. 
Okay. I mean, it's great with cocktail making because you have immediate, immediate satisfaction. You make it, you drink it. When you make wine, it takes a lot longer, specifically with the wines we're gonna be having shortly. All right. So it's important for this right here that you use a strainer. Uh, if you have cheesecloth, you can use that. And you're gonna strain it in here. Look at how gorgeous. Wow. And we're going to top it with a little bit of club soda. Makes it very refreshing. Mm. It's the perfect time. It is. It's 4.30 in the afternoon. Here we are. Garnish with some mint. Some and did you see Danelle put a little skull? She knows I love skulls, so. Oh, on his. This is the metamorphosis his. of life. And there you have it. Are we ready to try? You go ahead. Shall you try first? Okay. God. I'm dying to try this one. I've been a big fan of ginger. Oh, it's delicious with within, the ginger. Mm. Mm. Very so refreshing. vibrant, so refreshing, and which I love. Mm -hmm. It's very elegant. You know, it's very refined. So it really takes, it's really good. I really believe the phenomenal spirits we've produced mm -hmm. and take it to the next level, right. which is great because again, all of that has to be phenomenal together. So now, as we are enjoying this beautiful cocktail, I think we should keep the same glass, Danelle, and what about if we venture to make a French 69? Wouldn't it be fun to do this? That would this? be fun, yes. So, I'm gonna go really from habits, and I'm gonna push it a little bit. First, we're gonna put some gin. This is Perfect. the JCB Gin. Over 48 different plants, biodynamic and organic plants. Same base, Pinot Noir Chardonnay. We make wine and then we distill. And then we keep adding the plants and the plants and the plants. And that makes it absolutely phenomenal. So this is probably the best gin on the planet today. And for me to be addicted to any spirits is very smells, rare. So this is the one I'm addicted to. So you feel the juniper, which was infused for over 60 days, but it's not too overpowering. And I think that's the idea to make a gin, which could actually go both ways, for martinis, for French 75, French 69 hour version, and many other. So then, what do we do? Why do I love this cocktail? It's so simple to make. We add the fabulous JCB, not 21. It could be a big surprise. I'm gonna undress the bottle very quickly because we need to have the fabulous, you know, scientific reaction. Look at this. Woo! A little bubble. This is why we call it French 69. We add a little bit of cane sugar. Look at this gorgeous transformation. We let a little bit of Maya's lemon, not too much, just a few drops as is. We will add the beautiful garnish that Danelle prepared for us. Look at that. And maybe we're gonna stir just a little bit to homogenize all of it. And now, Danelle, this is your turn to try it. What about the cherries? Oh, of course, the cherry. Well, put the cherry in. You are the cherry, not on the cake, on the drink, so you might as well. Makes it fun. Look at that, how gorgeous. So the French 69, you probably all know the story, was invented really in the late 1800s. And we really believe Place Vendôme in Paris at the Ritz, and then got improved in Louisiana in the heart of New Orleans. So this is so cool to be able together to make a series of unbelievable cocktails that are pure, that really represents the essence of the actual distillation and amplified, improved with natural ingredients. Mmm! Isn't that great? Love it too. Well then, El, cheers to an amazing day. Again, wine styling or Spirit styling today. 
Cheers, Cheers. dear friends.